power outages a huge problem in the midst of this hurricane. Right, not just immediately, but they don't go away. It could be like that for some time. So many residents without power, yeah. and that causes a blanket of problems. Adrian Baker here with more on that. Well, you think about it, ERCOT is the power company that covers almost the entire state of Texas. They're reporting that in and around Corpus Christi, close to 300,000 customers now are without power. Now, some of these are very small towns, completely without electricity. In fact, I made a phone call uh, to ERCOT right before we got on right now. And uh, we do know that some towns, including Victoria and Goliad, completely without power. Rockport, I know you spoke with the fire department there. Uh, that beautiful coastal town hit very hard with outages. Some buildings have been damaged or collapsed, including the local high school. Uh, and we also, as I mentioned, uh, did call in to the uh, electric company. And Victoria is completely without power. They're about 30 miles north of Corpus. And we're getting unconfirmed reports as well that Goliad is also completely without power. This is like down home hometown. Less than 2,000 people live there. I grew up in a town like that. So they have a volunteer fire department really relying on the kindness of neighbors and people who live there and locals who are supporting neighbors because you really don't have any place to go when your power goes out and you only have 2,000 people in town. Soak lawns here in this video, strong winds knocking down a large tree. Joey Schaefer, thank you for sending this video into us. Uh, he said that his truck was actually stuck partially under that tree, but he managed to pull it mm. out. Does say that his roof is okay. Others still bracing for damage, and it is, of course, still blowing around very strong this morning. Right, and when you don't have power, your refrigerator is done. You can't mm. charge your phone to call for help or to call people to check in on them. There are so many problems associated with that. And you know, one thing to note, I, I know that when we had power outages as a kid, a lot of times you light candles, but then we've seen that that can be a danger right. too, as candles can tip over, even if it's just an accident, the dog walks by. So maybe just make sure you have enough batteries this morning. A lot of people having to clear store shelves yesterday just in preparation for this. Such a perilous situation for millions of Americans this morning. Adrian, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.